Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 149th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I'm your host, Bill Cox, and I've got a couple quick questions for you. Do you like package deals? Do you like curated debuts? Well, you've come to the right place. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to compel. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks for sale per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $3,000 or less. And anything goes in rounds nine, 10, and actually 11 tonight. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and 10. I don't know what we're going to do in rounds 11. Round 11. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim, followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You'll be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of our dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and do! show it's doing elvis's yeah it is it is it's uh yeah i bet you didn't think you'd see uh, aquaman come back into the uh show at any time soon no. did you i love ambiguously whatever aqua person mm -hmm. love they them what <laughs> they taste like fish that's what we know well here we are again 149 episodes and uh one more to 150 what yeah hard to imagine huh it's uh it, it's a, it's an anniversary of sorts so uh let's uh the pronoptimate you think so a pronoptimate 105 watching and only 35 likes says nick berucci come on we can get 15 we can get 50. let's get uh yeah. let's get 100 before uh before yeah. we get to the first round here can we get by hard too says jeffrey c I don't know. We've got we got something planned for next week, though. We have uh, we've got something in the can that we're working on right now. So uh, not by hard wow. too, though. Sorry, John McClain is not making a uh, reappearance anytime soon. Oh come on! You told him to come to doing dealers uh, with Anthony, sell some art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need more claim bell. We do. Well, we'll see if uh, the claim bell gets rung. 
uh, this evening or not. Um, let's go ahead and get our coin flip up and at them. You got <laughs> oh my god, we won. Unbelievable. You know, Bill, the problem is you start with him. You know, they had a thing just real quick, they had a thing on TV. It said, Don't ask me how. They said 58% of the time it will land on whatever the top is when you start. Oh, oh that's three times uh, in a row. I told you. That's interesting. 58% Four times of the in a row. time. <laughs> Lightning's going to strike if we get it here five Rick times in a row. That's right. <laughs> Rick Rick is right. Ahead, I knew you did something. You know, first it was my descriptions you were screwing with. Now it's the coin flip. <laughs> Six in a row. Come on. How is that possible? There's I no think such thing to... as being due. Seven. I think, I think we need to flip a coin live is what we got to start doing. Oh, let's go back. Eight. Eight times in a row. Come on. We're not so starting to show you until this like coin it. is not working properly. Nine times in a row. There's something wrong with this thing. Hey, I've seen I black. told you, Bill. I already told you, Bill, you got to start out. Hey. Okay, now leave it there for next week. There it is. <laughs> there she is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Jason wants us to do rock, paper, scissors next rock, time. Rock, paper, scissors. For the 150th episode. Maybe I'll let the guys do it for Shoot. the 150th. Rock, Only. paper, scissors. Shoot. Which one? Uh, rock, paper, scissors. I win. 150th. So what are you going to do, Anthony? I'll go first. I kind of had a feeling you would go but first. But I'll go second if you put the Captain America helmet on. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Ah! I just figured I'd look buff for tonight. <laughs> Come on, skinny cap. You have Did the Captain America America America? shirt on. You're not going to put the what helmet on? No helmet? No. No, okay. it's, uh, it's over there. It's just staying over there. For, for the show. Uh, all right. Well, let's get you started, Anthony. Let's see. Uh, I, I have not previewed any artworks today. Awesome uh, art. All right. So uh, for giveaways, we got, look, we got Sharon with young, skinny, bald me. Okay. I agree artwork by who? Comments. And then Mike Collins, Gambit, commission, signed. Which one? This one. No. Did you say? No. What are you doing? No, these are giveaways. Oh, with giveaways. skinny, skinny, bald me I in I'm my underwear. So happy to hear these for Sharon. All right, that's the giveaway. You have three giveaways tonight, huh? For the wheel. For yeah, the because wheel. you know, let's have three claims. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting this thing started. All right. What have you brought, Anthony? Here, let's see. First up, we got a uh, Mike Collins gambit. Yeah, we got an eleven by seventeen. Uh, I here I'm, it is. I got a, I got a. What? He's got Anthony's hair tonight. Yeah, I got Anthony's hair tonight. Look at that. Gambit is rocking it. Okay, so we got an eleven by seventeen. <laughs> eleven by seventeen. Mike Collins Gambit. A uh, lot of a lot of interest and enthusiasm uh, for the X Men ninety seven. So I got a lot of X Men art tonight. Uh, and, uh, you know, the guys that came over on Saturday, they, there are a lot of X-Men guys, and I was doing a lot of wheeling and dealing with them. So I took in a lot of X-Men art. Yay. Well, they are X-Men fans, those uh, gentlemen that were at your place. Next up, Liam Sharp. All right. So um, I got a Liam Sharp Hulk page, and it's got Sharon on it. Say it, Sharon. <laughs> no. That's right. It's got Liam Sharp, Peter David uh, signed it, the writer, of course. Hulk smash New Jersey. Rashoom. We got a Rashoom sound effect in New Jersey. From 1995. That's pretty cool. Super cool. Sharon, um, I have to say, you're rocking the Elvis outfit a little bit more than Anthony is tonight. Right? Yeah. She's she's a rock star. <laughs> yeah. here. That's a little feminine touch I added. With the bow? Well, you For got the, the cape. 
Yeah. You got it all going on tonight. Mike and I kind of we we dressed down for this show. We should have we should have thought of something, Mike. No, one hundred and fifty for next week. You one hundred and fifty. You're yeah. all shook up. Ooh. Well, so. That's what the earthquake will do for you. Uh, all right, Mike. Over to you, oh, sir. Those are for t- next week's show. Yeah. The vid- the stuff we shot today is for an, the one hundred and fiftieth episode. Oh, okay. It's the. It's okay. We needed it done. It's a Pokemon tournament this weekend. Everybody's busy. All right, Mike, round one. Over to you. What do we got? Ray Lago. Beautiful little Ray Lago. Look at the detail Ray Lago puts this beautiful knife. And I love his little signature. See his little signature there? Lago. Beautiful, beautiful little painting. Mixed media painting. Ray Lago. Um, Beautiful image of a knight holding an axe in his hands with a neat watercolor background. Uh, with a building in back. Art is drawn on eight point. I'm sorry, five point two five by eight and a half inch uh, uh, art paper and signed Lago at the bottom. Just a really cool. This is all original art, folks. All original art. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Just three hundred bucks. Really, really nice. And I, again, I love how he does his signature there. Lago. Really cool piece. So that's the first one. And remember, folks, we do package deals. Yeah, Next yeah. one, very, very cool. I love this. Eric Larson, hard to get commission on him uh, with the blob uh, running with a little sweat running off his forehead. Really cool pinup featuring the blob. All pe- it's, penciled, it's penciled and inked. It has pencils and inks on it. Just wanted to confirm by the great Eric Larson. Done on 11 by 8.5 inch uh, art, art paper and signed at the bottom by Eric Larson. Very, very cool piece. Hard to get by him. And so uh, so that's the two pieces for round one. And we do package a deals. Pretty short legs there. But uh, you can very run cool. fast. <laughs> Anthony, you had, a, you had an offer from Southern Comic Geek. $400 on your All right, I'm program. just going to take it. Yay! Yay! Get off. Get off the schneid. Thank you, Southern Comedy. With my big buddy, Mike. Yeah. Uh, We didn't load a breaking the ice meme. I I hate to tell the production staff. You were that confident. I was, I guess so. Uh, All right, well. Just 300 bucks, folks. And remember, we do package deals. Sharing package deal. Oh, look at that package. Ooh. We do pass. Somebody's getting in between you two. Uh, all right, round two. Round two. Back to the Snyder residence. Let's see what Anthony's brought. I just sold some. I get to go again? You do. Yeah. You do. Yay. Very nice. We'll see if you can see something else. Uh, what do we got here? You can see a Robert Gill X Force page from uh, 2022. Yeah. So you got Wolverine in there. Got some Wolverine. Look at that. Claws out. Arg. Yep. Anthony, this what? guy's gonna fall. This guy's gonna fall. Oh, the package will be broken. No. Yeah. Protect the package at all costs. All right. So uh this is uh let me give me my notes. <laughs> Robert Gill, X Wars, great Wolverine sign. That that was my notes. <laughs> so that's everything. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> Look at that. If you're an X-Men fan. From 2022, he's bursting through that page. I like fried banana sandwiches. Do you? All right. So, yep. X-Men and Wolverine. Where is he in this? He's in some interdimensional portal. And then look at this. This one's really nice. Joshua Casera. And Robert Gill. Same guys. Okay. So look at that. You got some orcas. And then a great team shot. Got a great team shot. So you got some nice uh, ink wash uh, gray tones on this page as well. I didn't know who he was until Saturday when you told me. Jason. Excellent. Wolverine. Package. Who wants a Wolverine deal. package deal? 
Well, you know, uh, Jason's uh, his uh, moniker to uh, the insider circles is the professor. He knows a little bit about every artist, every character out there, just a little. Oh, the professor. The, mm -hmm. and, yeah, and, when you see him next time, make sure you call him. And here on Billigan's Isle. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. All right, round two over to you, Berkey. Round um, two. What do we got? Berkey. Um, that's my 2B, I think. Oh, that is my 2A. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Very cool. Daryl Banks doing doing Frank Miller's famous Batman. I don't know if this is... A, I think this is a cover pose, but uh, beautiful, beautiful Daryl Banks 2021 doing recreating Frank a famous Frank Miller Batman cover. And he even writes at the bottom, of course, uh, uh, Banks after Miller. But beautiful, beautiful cover done on 11 by 17 inch art board uh, as uh, Daryl Banks pays tribute to Frank Miller's Dark Knight here with Batman and the Carrie Kelly Robin leaping into action on this great piece, uh, ink over graphite on 11 by 17 art board. Very cool piece. Beautiful, beautiful. Superb detail. So that's the first one. And the second one, I haven't had one of these for years. These were really popular back in the day. Uh, Astro Boy, this is Ken Stacy. This is all art. This entire piece is art. It's pencil, ink, and hand colored by Ken Stacy. Astro Boy number six, page 19. Beautiful, beautiful piece from, with Astro Boy leading a new robot revolution on Earth as he helps a robot get out of the boxing ring. Very, very cool piece. And it's signed Ken Stacy at the bottom. And these were smaller. This actual it's drawn on 10 by 15 inch paper, smaller than regular artwork. But the entire piece is all artwork uh, from 1988. So, folks, we are talking 36 years old. Mm -hmm. Can I see that? And Stacy Art uh, up for auction tonight. I even was thinking about getting it. Had Spider Man on it, Mike. What's that? Oh, was yeah. A, what's that? There was a Ken Stacy Spider Man uh, artwork up in Austin. Stacy, where? Uh, Heritage. Yeah, I was the one selling it. Oh, you're the one selling it. You know, it looked yeah, like uh, it looked like art from the um, uh, Spider Man ride in Universal. Yeah, That's something it. like that. I had it. And I didn't know what it was. I said, ah, I'll just give it to them. Uh, Look, it's me and Sharon. You and Sharon. Sharon. Yeah. I don't That's think about uh, the, uh, size ratio. Hmm. This hat you're wearing. All right, round three. Hey, that does look like my little buddy over there. I just want to say one thing, Mike. I ain't your little buddy. What the? I ain't your little buddy. Where did you get that? I made it today. Ain't your little buddy. And the next claim, you can claim a piece of uh, the giveaway, or you can, ah! or you can claim this shirt. But you have to be a two X. All right, round three, Anthony. You know that's not going to work, right? What? Uh, uh, what is he doing? You this can't take that off when you have the Elvis costume on. This is like Good. start his round. Start his round. I want to see him try. Bill, don't spoil it. Let him try. Right. Go <laughs> All right, let's let, let's let him try. I'll sell the MC Wyman, uh, Doctor Strange, That's annual number two. It's from 1992, ladies and gentlemen, on 11 by 17 board, priced at $950. The thing is, it's, uh, this is really cool. It's got uh, Defenders on it. It's got a lot of Silver Surfer action. Silver Surfer's in every panel. And uh, is that Wonder Man? Is that Wonder Man? I wonder. Do you wonder? I wonder, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that great team shot of the classic defenders from Marvel. What? Marvel Witch? Marvel Fanfare. Oh. That's awesome. Though. I like this because I, I'm a big fan of the, the original defenders. That page has a lot of flow. There's a lot of action going in the same direction. I yeah. just love the lines that are drawn through that. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Silver Surfer all over it. We know Silver Surfer is so hot right now. Ooh, it's don't so hot. You, Ow! Don't you love the casting that they did? They casted a girl for, as a Silver Surfer. 
That's the that's the talk of the socials these days. Yes. So we have this DK Ruan uh, Spider Man page, pair of pages, eighteen and nineteen consecutive. Yep. Yep. DK Ruan, DK, and it's got me on it. Ah. And uh, it's got skinny guy on it. Stretch and porch. I just got to say about. What do you got to say? I've been, you know, I, I sell comics too. I mean, I sell hundreds and hundreds of comics every week, and I've never heard of the girl Silver Surfer. What? Hmm. You must not be well, reading those comics you're selling. No, I don't read them. But did you know there was a girl Silver Surfer at one time? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Silver Surfer was not one of my uh, favorite reads back in the day. Okay. Hate to say it. Um, all right, moving right along. Round three. What are you doing, Mike? Um, taping a sporting event for tonight. I want to tape ESPN. Uh huh. All right. Well, round three over to you. Uh, well, while Anthony tries to get out of uh, the uh, you know the Harry Houdini trap, we're gonna let you sell some art. I hope so. Uh, where is? Oh, uh, we have a cutie cover, published cover. I don't. Have, I, don't uh, I don't see your three A in my list though. Unfortunately, I'm letting the production staff know that. So I guess we'll let you. Uh, uh, oh, because I had a beautiful image of the published. I cover. know you did. Oh wait, it's at the bottom of the list. Here it is. Hey. Okay. Check this out. Vincenzo Federici, Betty Page Unbound, number five, published cover. There's the published image on the right. Beautiful, beautiful cover from 2019. As Visca creates a fine homage to the well-known well Gil Elvgren image from, I think, the Copper Tone ads. The cover is rendered in Inca graphite on 11.5 by 16.5 inch artboard. And it's even an homage at the bottom. A beautiful, beautiful published Sexy cover. So there you go, folks. That's good. Ooh la la, Mike. Look, and, and oh, she's getting a real good tan. She don't want that tan line on her back, so check that out. Woo. That's nice. Beautiful, All beautiful right. published cover. So that's the first one. And, and the second one. Different. For you, Mc... For you uh, Keith Giffen fans, this is uh, Keith Giffen and Lin Linda Medley. But this is a really nice one from 1991, Justice League of America, number 50. And it has a lot of good stars on it. From the story titled Blaze of Glory, where we got the Blue Beetle, Fire, Guy Gardner, or Orion, Mr. Miracle, and General Glory, all having a final showdown with the Nazi-supported character I love. It's called the Evil Eye. They all battle the evil eye. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Folks, we are talking 33 years ago. Beautiful page again with all the heroes. Blue Beetle, Fire, Guy Gardner, Orion, Mr. Miracle, and General Glory. Very, very cool. And a Nazi Zeppelin. And a Nazi Zeppelin. That's the evil eye. Oh, that's the evil eye. Yeah, but it's I see it's a Nazi. Yeah. Can almost see her evil eye. So there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Aunt May was a Silver Surfer once. Is that true, Mike? Yeah, I think it was a What If She Was. I remember seeing a cover. What that if Aunt May was the Herald of Galactus? I think there was one like that. It might have been. What if Aunt May was what? The Herald of Galactus. It was a stupid What If from like What The. So you didn't read that, huh? Oh, by that Hawk, 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 Dan, Hawk, Hack, Dan, Hawk. Yeah. Hockey Hawk. Unknown. All right, round four over to you. No, the funny guy. He's Don Hawk, Don Hack, Don Hawk. Uh -uh. All right. All right, so I got more X and Marvel stuff coming up. This is by Leonardi and Green, Cable Annual. Look, Whoa. I like the deconstructed panels on this uh, where it's like one, two, three, and one, and then a great Marvel team shot. Look at that. It's got awesome. Monica Rambo. It's Machine Man versus the Hulk. That's me versus Berkey because I work like a machine and Hulk just smash. All right. So, and then they got Black Knight, Namor, and who's that dude? Mordred? Is that Mordred? 
I've never heard of that. He was uh, cheap for Leonardi. Okay. Yeah, kind of splashy and cheap for Leonardi. Says the professor. Where's Mary Ann? I don't know. Here on Billigan's Isle. Dr. Druid. Okay. Okay. This art is 30 years old, Anthony. Which one? The one in your hand. Oh, 30 years old. We like years that end in four. Right, Sharon? Years that end in four. All right. So now this one is a great Tom Rainey. Keith Williams, Warlock Chronicles. Drax, Gamora. And who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who's the other guy? Who's the muscly black guy? Can't tell. This guy? Looks like one of the uh, destroyers or something. I can't. Maxim? Okay. Mark Hagar, I got something coming up for you. Mark. Mm, break out that checkbook. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and his ship is called good. the Maxim Pad. Oh, boy. Maxim. All right, round four over the, to the comedian on the left, Mr. Berkey. What do we got here, Mike? Uh, something by Bermejo. Check out by the great Lee Bermejo. Check out this beautiful mixed media pinup of Fathom. I, I think as Fathom, God, I don't even know. Uh, she's like one. Of, is she an image character? Michael Turner, or among others. Yeah, it's Michael Turner. Original art depicting Aspen Matthews of the Michael Turner creation Fathom by Lee Bermejo. Drawn on 11 and a half by 17 inch artboard as he creates a sultry Aspen. But this Aspen. is purple zinks and gray tones. All beautiful, beautiful piece. This is done on DC cover stock, back of DC cover stock artboard, actually. So very, very cool. She's eclipsing that sun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw the full eclipse on Monday. It was freaking awesome where I live. I was in the path of totalitary uh, eclipse. You were totalitarian? Totalitarian eclipse. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Forgot the second yeah, one. You're, you're now, this is a true doozy, folks. Check this out. Be oh, look at this beautiful full Superman battle splash. Tom Derenick, inked by the great uh, Wayne Foucher. Countdown to Final Crisis number 13. Splash page from the story titled Abandon All Hope with Superman battling Monarch in just a dynamic, dynamic full splash. Pencils and inks, folks. Uh, this is from 2008, so we're talking 16 years old. If you want a Superman splash, folks, it don't get better than that right there. Wowza. Tom Drenick knows a thing or two about uh, drawn super characters, isn't that true? And we do package deals, folks. And That's a super perfect. nice guy to deal with. I've done deals with him, and he's uh, he's so uh, he's so easygoing and uh, and uh, good to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, moving on to round five. Anthony's done a wardrobe change, as everybody can tell. Yeah, I got my my love shirt on. I must love Anthony. Read it, Sharon. Now the other one. Can't you see, Anthony? You are too hot to handle. Ah! Yeah. Uh -huh. Haven't heard that in a while, have you? Uh, not since the 90s. Uh -huh. All right. Round five over to you, Anthony. And I don't see your A5. I don't see your 5A in my list, oddly enough. I see 5B. Oh, there it is. I found it. Yay. Here it is. Somebody asked if X Force Thirty Two sold. So uh, that's this one. I still have this one available. That was priced at four twenty five. Yep. Do even four hundred. Nice. Even four hundred. Okay, this is really cool. This is this uh, is about the size of a comic board that he usually does a lot of these on. But this is a cut out piece of watercolor paper. So there's a lot of ink in this paper a lot of ink more detail yep and it's got one two three four five x babes one two three four five x babes Incredible. x babes nice 
awesome texture. Really cool. Bachelo. You say Bachelo, I say Bacchelio. <laughs> you do? I don't know what I say. So if you're looking for a package deal, look at what I got. I got, a, I think this is. That's hot. That's hot. Is that Iceman in Mystique? It's definitely Mystique. Look at that nice architecture. We see the offer, huh? You do have it. You uh, Jordan Fox, who you count, who you offered the uh, page of four hundred to, is offering you three eighty five on the X Force thirty two. Okay, I'll take that three eighty five. I get you. I getting those some love. All I care about. Who got love. that? Who gets to go on the wheel? And Rich Donnelly wants five B. Yay! That's this one, right? That is true. That is okay, the right. uh, published 199 page going to Rich Donnelly. And who got the other one? Rich. Jordan Fox got 2A. Oh, thank you very much, Bill. Oh, 2A? Yeah, okay. 2A. Okay. And thank you, Jordan. Jordan. And and thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. Wait a minute. Is that skinny, Bill? <gasps> Could it uh, be short uh, hair? No, no I, I haven't had that... short hair in a long time. Did you see uh, that picture I sent you with short hair? That's what I, with my kid. Yeah, uh, yeah, not one of my better moments. So uh, round five, over to you, Mr. Berkey. Let's see, where is five? A here we go. Round five cover alert. Check this out. Beautiful uh, Hawkman number forty-three cover from two thousand and five by Dale Eaglesham. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cover. Dale Yuzlesham pencils and Wade Von Grawbadger inks from the story titled I Fly in the Face of Danger. Beautiful, beautiful cover featuring a dynamic close-up of the Golden Eagle ripping up a poster of the Golden Eagle. Are you kidding me? Cover is rendered an ink over graphite on 11 by 17 artboard and signed by the artist at the bottom. In color, it looks a lot cooler because it's such a mishmash, it's hard to tell. But when you see all the gold, if you see the published cover at the bottom right there, very, very cool. And art goes all the way from the bottom to top. Again, folks, this is 19 years old. Really cool published cover. And next, very cool, by the late great and my best friend, sad to see pass on, but at least he lived 93 years. Beautiful John Romero. This is, and I've seen the published image to this. This is like a Marvel uh, reading book uh, with the Hulk with two kids in front and one kid grabbing on the Hulk's shoulders. A really cool piece signed by John Romero with his great signature. Uh, art is drawn on 9.2 by 14 inch uh, drawing paper and signed at the bottom. But this was done in either the late 70s or early 80s, but it was a, it was a Marvel reading book with the Hulk and just a, just a cool piece. All pencils, but different shading and everything. Just looks really cool for a pencil piece. By the Do it You've done it again. Aquaman art. What about Aquaman art? I was holding Aquaman art in the meme. By oh. Nick Cardi, too. Yes, it was a Nick Cardi pencil uh, commission. I ain't your little buddy. Did uh, Anthony sell 3A yet? Uh, no, he did not. That was the MC Wyman uh, Doctor Strange Annual 2 page with uh, Silver Surfer in every panel. Not just any panel. Every? Every panel. Every panel. Isn't that what I said? Every panel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Great. I did have a Doc Brown look. So uh, Comic Art Boston is offering you eight fifty on that one, Anthony. Okay, that one. Let's go. Were, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nine fifty, and you're accepting Cab's offer of eight fifty. Yep. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Got no chance, my Come big on. buddy. My little buddy. My little buddy is kicking some butt. He. Yep. He is. Got no chance, Ohio. Oh, boy. All okay. right, moving on to round six. My Guardians um, won tonight. I'm all excited. And my Cavs won tonight, so I'm happy. Come mm -hmm. on. How are the uh, – oh, the Guardians are the baseball team. Yeah. I still call mm -hmm. them the Indians, though. <laughs> That's what I had Guardians in my mind. I was like, how are the Indians doing? And, uh, yeah, yep. they're the Guardians. 
Okay, round six over to Anthony. He's got $2,835. I just to sold my... something. Is it my turn again? Yes, actually it is, believe it or not. Uh, and so let's see what you brought, because I have no clue. 6A is a Ron Lim, Andy Smith, Thanos page. Infinity Look at this. Finale. Have I got X-Men and Marvel team shots for you guys tonight? Look at that. It's like Thor with his hammer. It's awesome. got Bill of Thor and Berkey, Berka Hulk and who uh, are Oh, uh, Hulk smash. Uh, funny. I like that little bug. Bug man. Say the nay. I'm the bug. Huh? Yep. I'd say the nay. Look at that. It's got Silver Surfer. Great team shot. Lockjaw. I know people hey, that are that, collecting. That's you with the, mm, uh, the giant ant. Uh, are we keeping you up, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We need more claim bell. Come on. Claim bell. All right. Let's go. Really What's nice? Page. Love Another one. All right. I don't know what is next. Uh, La Roca. Great. Damn it. This is like Salvador La Roca. I, I've handled a lot of La Roca pages. I think this is my favorite, best La Roca page that I've ever had. It's from Ghost Rider, so it starts off with Ghost Rider, and but then it's got claws out, and then a great gambit shot. Great That's gambit. So cool. I and then that cool. great silhouettes to highlights. Look at that. Ghost Rider, 68. What year is that? 95. Yeah. So what is that? We were having... 29 years old, Anthony. 29 years old. Just the way I like them. All right. We need a few more likes out there, everybody. Hit that thumbs up. Hello. Turn those machines back on. Is this chat even working? See, we say that just as Jordan claimed the uh, we didn't he didn't put the, the lot number in. It well, it's twelve hundred. That's this one. So. But that's that one. That yeah. is true. Jordan. Uh, so yeah, Jordan Fox. Thank you very Woo! much. This is such a great page. I mean, you know, it could have been done by uh, Jim Lee and Art Thiebert. T Bear. Thanks. Again, uh, T Bear. Jordan. Is that how you say it? That is how you say it. That's right, how Mike? you say it. Yeah, for years I used to just say Thibert, but I found out it's Tibert. Yep. <laughs> it's Tibert. It spelled Thibert. Was I'm I saying like 20 years ago I always said Thibert. Okay, put him down. Thyburn. Thyburn. Thibert. Uh, that happens to Robin. Aaron the has the Thibert. Thyburn. Uh, All where's... right, uh, Mr. Berkey, you got some work to do. Oh, I'm going to make a big comeback in the late rounds. Don't worry. Uh, but round 11 doesn't count if you sell round 11, right? Round 11 does count or else I wouldn't have had it up tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. 6A. What do we got? Listen, I, <laughs> big deal where I, I got four awesome John Basema FF Splash where I sold all of them and these store covers. This was in the deal, too. This has been in the collection for 40 years. A beautiful Silver Age Metal Man page with the entire team on it. I have a lot of people. I have one guy that always collects police art, so I know when I put this on the site, it'll probably sell. But from 1968, Metal Man number 36, page 7. This has been a collection for 40 years. Pencil by Mike Sikowski, ink by the great George Russo's from the title story titled The Cruel Clowns, where they battle this crazy giant clown. But this, this page features the all six metal men, platinum, mercury, gold, lead, iron, and tin, as they see the police chasing a car. Then lead uses his powers to try to stop the car, and he misses it, and he smashes into the police car. Are you kidding me? But any just anyway, just a beautiful, beautiful 1968 metal men page. I haven't seen, I think, I even looked at Heritage. They haven't even had a metal men page by Sikowski in over five years, I think. And uh, so it's just a rare piece to find. Next one, very, very cool. Jerry Ordway from the 1980s, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe pinup for Ant-Man. Jerry Ordway, inked by Joe Rubenstein. Or some people could say Rubenstein. I always say Joe Rubenstein <laughs> from the 80s. But anyway, beautiful pinup from the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, issue number one. 
Then on 11 by 17 boards, signed by Rubenstein on the front and on the back. You know, I don't know which guy does that, but but a beautiful, beautiful published. There's the published image there on the bottom right uh, for Ant-Man. So there you go. Gilligan, you've done it again. Do we need to see that a second time? <laughs> oh, 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 wait, oh, I think it's something. I got one on the line, Skip. I got one on the line. Yeah, it's a big one. What do you think, Skipper? Is it a keeper? Little buddy, you got to throw that minnow away. These are keepers. There you have it. That's, uh, those are keepers. You get the, you get the Marvel characters of the keepers. What do you think about that, Anthony? Oh, Anthony's muted. Well, again, what did you ask me what I thought about something? Oh, my God. I'm in shock. What? Well, I'll never do that again when you're muted. <laughs> I was do just you think that I was muted? No. Yeah, well, I was like yelling at one of my kids. Uh, what do I think about which? I don't know. Submariner being better than Aquaman. Um, well, he was first. He was first. All right, so uh, round seven, back to the uh, uh, the interesting Snyder residents, men in underwear and uh, white t-shirts. Three likes to eighty-eight. Come on, everybody, hit that thumbs up. Package deal. Watching the show tonight. And share. Right, Anthony must love Anthony. Mm, here we go, Anthony. All right, round so seven over to you. We got a Mike Allred Silver Surfer page. Yeah, with the girl, like that was in your uh, one of your ads, right? Didn't you do a gigantic piece it was on my uh, the lanyard for OAX? Yeah, the lanyard. Yeah, I knew you used it for something, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what's her name? I can't remember at the moment. Oh, you used the lanyard. I can't remember her name. It's an ordinary name. Somebody in the chat will tell you. But come on, let's sell the piece. It's two thousand dollars by the amazing Mike Allred. I'm I dressed up. I'm dressing down because I got hot. All right, this is Mike Allred, Silver Surfer, critically acclaimed series by the Mike of Al All Red. All Red. It's beautiful. It's great, and it just it features them. Uh, joining together in meteoric oh, love. Yeah. <laughs> huh? It's in your. It's, uh, it's in the description of your artwork. Anyway, it's it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Don Greenwood. Oh, I, I have an assistant. Yeah, he looked it up. Yay, Don. Speaking of Mike Allred, we have this variant cover to Avengers six seventy two. Oh, it's got me and Sharon on it. Look, we're coming together, walking across the meteors in the galaxy to join each other. All right. So this one is way cool. This uh, kind of an homogenous, homogeny. No. Oh, okay. That's it. The John Basema cover where they're going at each other <laughs> right there. Mike Allred. Uh, variant cover Avengers uh, versus Champions signed 2017. With the high evolutionary and the vision and sh When the Spider-Man 1 movie came out in homage to John Romita, and it's also a homage that's in hound, 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 homage, and it's in homage. Woo! Woo! Uh, indeed, it's a homage. <laughs> it's a whole magi. Uh-huh. Okay. Homage. All right. Well, are we at 100 uh, likes by now? We better be. Thumbs up. All right. Nine likes. We got nine likes to get to 100. My goodness. What is going on with you guys? Does Bill wear the Captain America mask again? No, I will not. Oh, Bill. <laughs> Round seven. Somehow that shirt makes you look skinnier. It does. I'll stay oh, it's got black edges. That? Does that make me look bigger? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Black Mark. edges make it look like you're even small. It's I don't know. Can't Yay, see. Mike! Round seven, and it looks like you've got a couple pieces here. Well, round. this is a nine-page story. I, I met the artist Russ Leach. This is Russ Leach, Batman Magazine number one. Now, this is done for DC Panini, but this is published in the UK, Germany, France, and Italy. 
uh, a complete nine-page story with Batman and Catwoman and Robin all battling the Joker. But you get the entire story. It's pencil and ink. And every page, he signed the back of it, too. Every page. But it's a ten-page. I'm sorry, nine-page story. Well, with Catwoman, Batwoman, so you get you get the whole story, folks. And there's action throughout every single page. And again, he signed every single page. And he told me, which I thought was interesting. He said this is the he said his stories he's doing is the first time Batman ever had UK original non team up stories. Uh, that's what he said for for his stories. And I bought a I bought a bunch of art from him. So and look at look at that full splash in there. Holy Toledo, just like a cover. So you get all the lions and yeah. tigers and Batman and Catwoman and Robin, but you get all of them, folks. Just a great, great, great. Let me uh all action, all action, all action. Look at that. Where they defeat the Joker and everything. That's right. Nine Catwoman pages. up. So yeah, one Russ two, Leach. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, since Mike didn't talk about this one, this is the Kyle Holtz Room yeah. 3 oversized cover from 1995. Look at the detail on that, folks. Published cover from 1995, room number seven. Look at all those skulls and everything. Oh, my goodness. 20. 29 years old from the story Tooth and Claw with a bloodied room defeated on the ground with 12 skulls and several bones around him as a sexy bikini-clad winged angel stands triumphant behind him as she yanks on his hair. And this is oversized, drawn on 11.75 by 17.6 art. All art. Look at those wings. Everything by the great Kyle Holtz. Hot. Very angelic looking. Hot. 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 Splashes in this story and uh, and several semi splashes. Batman, Catwoman, Robin, Joker, and the entire thing. All mm -hmm. published. Uh, DC Panini in UK, Germany, France, and Italy. All right. Round eight is upon us. One round until cake break and time. Images of the published covers if you want to see them. Can, we, let, can I see that feather thing again? What? You want to see the slide? Oh, I want to do a contest of how many feathers. No, we don't do that. <laughs> Come on. How many feathers? It would take like an hour just to count them, and it probably wouldn't be accurate. How, how many, many skulls? I, I counted the skulls there. There were 12 skulls. 12 okay. skulls for Bill's wall. I didn't ribs. count the ribs or the femur bones, though. How All many? Right. Okay, how, let's count. Uh, let's do a contest of how many wisps of our curly hair. Moving no. around to round eight. Great Anthony. story, folks. Great story. You get them all. Nine page story. What do we got here? We've got oh, uh, right. the Frank Springer a Dazzler action. Oh, if you look, Dazzler action. Yeah, action. She could dazzle me with some action. What? What? Ooh, la, la. Who's she fighting there on her roller skates? That's and Terex. She's like, He's mean. Terex? Yeah. You know, from the FF, Terex? <laughs> Bad guy. That's correct. Was he the dance-off guy in Guardians of the Galaxy? No. It's a uh, dance-off, man. It's a dance-off. Uh, what about a walk-off, Anthony? Judgment Day. Okay, so uh, be here for jury duty. What? Okay, so Dazzler That's 10. That's so scary. What jury is Jury duty. No, no, jury duty. Ah, <laughs> uh. so okay, yep. That is the end. Uh, Marvel page. How old was that one, Bill? Okay, now we got this uh, Blevins. Uh, forty-three years old. Forty-three years old. Mm -hmm. Just the way I like him. This man is on uh. fire. <laughs> Yes, yes, Brett Blevins, full length Ghost Rider in a graveyard. Fire. Graveyard. Fire. Mike says in Ohio, a gravy yard. Gravy yard. Ooh. Happy day.
happening. Yes, indeed. We want to see him dance in the graveyard. I think that's what uh, everybody was hoping for. We didn't. Oh, have I, I'd rather that. dance in a graveyard. Mm -hmm. Oh, the graveyard at Piccadilly. Uh, what's it? Uh, the Piccadilly uh, Circus a buffet in Ohio. Never heard of it. Uh, all right, round eight over to Mike, and then we have a cake break. What? Um, yeah, that's what I've heard. So, uh, Mike, what do you got for your eight A? Ooh la la, check this out. Oh, oh, sensational no. Spider-Man. And I love the back as as all, you know, the semi-pencil page. Very, very cool. Uh, but anyway, since uh, Sean Chen from 2007, sensational Spider-Man number 32, the last page, full splash. As MJ keeps having dreams that something's going to happen to Peter and she freaks out and comes home and sees Aunt May holding a a almost dead Spider-Man. But anyway, from a uh, uh, beautiful full splash, uh, Sean Chen Inc. by Scott Hand from the story titled The Husband or the Spider. This beautiful full splash features a scene where Mary Jane has just returned home after visiting Sue Storm to talk about what it's like to be married to a superhero. And she finds the bloodied Spider-Man near dead in Aunt May's arms. Beautiful piece. But the detail on that is extraordinary. I know they did a homage of this uh, somewhere in, around Spider-Man 400, too, with the reverse scene. But uh, very, very cool piece. And there's a cool piece. I just got it in yesterday, so I wanted to put it on the show. This is actually published. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, full pin of published. Um, it's it's published in the, the fourth volume of Mark Schultz's hardcover art book. It's titled Thunderbird. Just a great image of Jack and Hannah with dinosaurs dragons behind them drawn on nine by 11.75 inch artboard actually have the prelim to a published painted piece but this is published again in in a, a fourth volume of mark's hardcover art book so very cool and signed at the bottom that is a beauty All right, let's see here. Uh, hide that one, and it is cake break time, everybody. So uh, here, wait, we got a cake break meeting. Ah, Batman needs some cake too. Hey, Robin, if Sharon can't get me some cake, little chum, I need you to get me some cake. Ah. Oh my! <laughs> All right, what what have you baked for us tonight, Sharon? Tonight we have an earthquake cake. What? I searched the internet for earthquake themed cakes and I found one. So this has coconut, walnuts, pecans, dark chocolate, mm. sour cream frosting, which makes it bubble up like that. And regular, oh no, I, I decided to use devil's food cake. Those look like little bricks underneath. Those look like yeah. little bricks. There's Hulk smash, New Jersey. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh, oh those cool Hershey blocks. Yes, they are. Did Anthony pose for that uh, Hulk? Hulk. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, the thing. he's that thing. No, Anthony has Hulk. This is going to taste really good. I'm excited. I, I would like for you to try it. Do you want to try it? Okay. Sure. Okay. And Tom McDonald wants some cake. I can bring some to uh, Chicago again like last year. You ate a bunch last year. Yay! Quake cake. Ah! Look, sexy elf. No. What's a what's the girl form of Elvis? Elv Elvira? I would say Evie. Elvette. Evie. Right? Got me. That'll okay. be on your socials by morning. It smells so good. Smell it. The Hulk is speaking in cake. Bot, smell it, bot. Oh, Hulk's <laughs> bot smells. Chocolatey. And oh, coconut. And the cake. And it's got nuts in it. So if you're allergic to nuts, <laughs> go somewhere else. Be careful. All right. Well, uh, off to the warehouse with that cake for the for the team. <laughs> Got to have something for them at lunchtime. Yes. We got leftover cookies all week. Aw. From get-togethers. And chocolate-covered pretzels. Elvita. Velveeta. Yeah, I don't oh, think there's any cheese in that one. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Sharon. Wonderful, wonderful as always. Hulk thank smash. You, thank you very much oh. for, for checking out my cake. Mm -hmm. Yay. Check out. All right, Anthony. Round nine. Over to you. All right. Well, who wanted this uh, Blevins splash? Yeah. I didn't see anybody splash. offering a claim or making it any kind of an offer your way on that one. It's very nice, though. Okay. Oh, somebody was saying, oh, I like God. What? Okay. All right, Marcus, uh, I got I got you taken care of. Just uh, send me $30. <clears throat> yes, it's all entirely edible. All right, so Captain America fans, Captain America surrender. And it's got uh, both Captain Americas on it. It's got a Captain America and the other guy. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? The other cap. You know, the guy that was in the the uh, the show. Uh Summer Summer Soldier? Nope. Brian Bailey's got it right. I know. God. I'm trying to figure out whether this is that if that one was the I think this is when uh, Steve Rogers was actually U.S. agent. John Walker, U.S. agent. And then they had an evil version of Captain America. Yeah, Steve Rogers. Yeah, Steve Rogers is the U.S. agent version on this one. So that's from Cap 345. Now, this one's really nice. Just got this one back in a deal. Uh, I sold this. This is uh, Cap skulking around Baron Zemo's castle. Reminiscing about the the origin of Winter Soldier from Cap Six. Yep, Cap Six, the origin of the Winter Soldier, first full appearance, uh, Cap in Zemo's castle, where he's wandering around, remembering. And the next page is when you got okay. Yeah, let's have a contest about how many bricks on this page. Bricks. Okay, so, yeah, the next page is when uh, Cap uh, reminisces about Lucky uh, climbs on that buzz bomb and gets uh, flown away and blown up. Yeah, Zemo, Aaron Zemo. You know what? I think, and I sold that page. I sold that page at OAX. Everybody was selling at uh, OAX. We got two uh, minutes around now. Yes. Yes, it's round uh, two minutes around and uh, round nine now. Over to you, Mike. Okay, All I'm going right. to start to the contest. I got five doozies to end up here, folks. Let's see if we get some sales. Oh, happy days! All right. Well, here is your nine A. Check out a two thirds splash, folks. This is the in the 1970s. This is the only issue of Power Man that George Perez ever drew. And check out this awesome two thirds splash, and then great. I love the I love the language at the bottom, but from 1975, folks, this is 49 years old. Great two thirds splash page. George Perez inked by Al McWilliams, oddly enough, from the story titled "Just a Doom Called X." This incredible two thirds splash features Luke Cage and the evil X, the Marvel, crashing out of a window, falling to the city with three great smaller lower panels of Power Man in all of them as he grabs and knocks out X saying, you talk too much. This is the one and only Power Man issue George Perez ever drew. You talk too much. You know something, X? But beautiful, beautiful two-thirds splash. Wow. And again, I didn't even realize until I did research that this was the only Power Man issue George Perez ever drew. Very nice. Very, very and now, old. 49 years old. Looking and at lastly, oh, for you Silver Surfer fans and Hulk fans, the rarest, one of the most sought-after books. Hulk 250 is one of the most sought-after books uh, of, of, the, of 1980 uh, back then. And really cool. At the top and bottom, you get all the people chasing uh, uh, Bruce Banner. And at the bottom, he's just getting ready to change into the Hulk because he's helping the Silver Surfer using gamma rays to power up the Silver Surfer. But just a great, great, great uh, Silver Surfer page from Hulk 250. 
from the story titled The Power, Chapter 4. But just a beautiful, beautiful scene in the center with the with the Silver Surfer throughout on his surfboard. Pissed off that uh, all these crazy people coming after Bruce Banner destroyed the Gamma machine that was powering uh, Surfer. So Surfer has to come back and uh, kick some booty. They're all wet on that one, Mike. All wet. Yes. We I used to live in that neighborhood. <clears throat> Is that right? Yeah, upper, upper I like right at 57th Street in Central Park and Fifth Avenue, 7th mm -hmm. Avenue. Mm -hmm. All right. right so over I'm still counting the bricks on this one. Yeah, still you're going to be counting all night. I'm going to need a whole nother uh, Berkey uh, selling period to count the rest. Oh, my yeah, well, we're not. No, there's no contest tonight for the bricks. Uh, round ten, and we do have a round eleven with one piece for each of these guys tonight because Anthony has something he wanted to show off. So let's see what uh, Anthony brought for round ten. His ten A is up there, and it's got look some alien on it. Yeah, Sam Keith aliens. Look at that versus Ripley. Ripley versus the Xenomorph. Sharon versus the Bug. The giant Bug. But wow. a little bit, a little bit. I, I can't do so it's got, sound effects. You can't do noises. butter, butter, Buddha. I say Buddha, 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 Buddha. That's not how the gun sounds. You can say butter and I'll say Buddha. Let's go together. Ready? Go. Buddha, Buddha, but, but, Buddha, but, Buddha, but. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. <laughs> so for all you Buddhists, Aranga, right? All right. So we got, this is hard to come good. by. Hard to come by. Uh, Alien Sam Keith art. Uh, now, it does have, it was framed, and it does have a little discoloration in the main art area. But I think it, uh, it I adds. think it's cool. I think it kind of adds some spookiness. I think it's spookiness. Cool. All right. So now this one is. Makes it authentic. A you know tough it's real. piece. If you're into the JSA and early Power Girl, her first appearance was 58, I believe. Now, look at this one with Power Girl with all the JSA there. It's got Starman or is that Star Boy? Is that Starman or Star Boy? Never heard of Star Boy. Star somebody. Star-Spangled Kid. Yeah, Star-Spangled Kid. Just kidding. And Wildcat, a Golden Age Flash, and Sharon on it. Look at that. Pretty Sharon as Power Girl. You got an offer. Mm hmm Yes, you have an offer uh, on Facebook from Sean Clancy, offering you $1,400. Your 8A Dazzler, you were priced at $2,000 on that one. Let's do 16, Sean. 16. 16, and I'll count the rest of the bricks for the raffle. All right, Sean, over on Facebook. Thank you for the $1,400 offer. Anthony is counted at $1,600. Uh, this is something special. I've never had a better, more desirable Power Girl page than this one. It's a yep. nice one. So, All right. Well, uh, Sean is thinking about that one. We have uh, Mike, round 10. And put yeah. your bricks in. It's like Mole Man by John Byrne. Round 10, John Byrne. This is from the very first official handbook. We had the Ant-Man by Ord. Right now we have from 1983, the official handbook, the Marvel Universe number seven. And check out the published image there. Pretty cool on the bottom. But and signed by John Byrne at the bottom. Think about it. The Mole Man is Marvel's very first super villain ever. Are you kidding me? But beautiful piece. Now, just, just want to reiterate it. This is dry mounted on the foam core, but the art is in perfect condition, but it is dry mounted on the foam core. So just wanted to state that. But from 1983, done on 11 by 17 inch chart board, signed by John Byrne at the bottom, uh, inked by the great Joe Rubenstein. Again, this is 
41 years old and very meticulously done from the very first series. In 19, if people know, 1983, John Byrne, I believe, did every single character from this very, very, very first volume in 1983. Mike, I have to point out, look at how many uh, letters you got in your description. That's what the? I didn't even realize that. How is that even possible? I have no idea. Wow. No, I'm no name is abbreviated. Uh, no. I am, I, and the letters are actually a little bigger. I, I'm shocked. I'm I'm speechless. Can we do a contest of how many letters are in Berkey's description on Oh, you get way more letters. Okay. Come on. Check this out, folks. Barry Smith. Trippy breakdowns. Barry Smith finished pencils and inks from Machine Man number one, the mini series. 1984. Again, folks, this is 40 years old. Um, I made I made a mistake. This says Machine Man four there. It's actually from issue one, so that was a mistake on my part. But but from the story titled Victory, this page features the evil Sunset Bane of Bane Electromus who hunts for the group of rebels who stole Machine Man's body parts on the page right before. But beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, trippy breakdowns. Barry Smith finished pencils. Barry Smith finished inks. From the very first issue of Machine Man. Very cool. Never owned anything that Barry Windsor Smith has uh, put pen to paper. From the same era, boy, this Weapon X stuff is going for crazy. Weapon X pages are going for like a hundred grand now. Holy moly! Mm -hmm. All right, now we have uh, one final round. When Anthony's done sending his text message or his post to social media or whatever he's doing over there. I'm he's posting a response to an offer. Backgammon. There an offer, offer should know? be on the show. Backgammon. He's playing backgammon. Oh, Sean, a, uh, did, did Sean's offer go down? Oh, no. No, it went. Oh, no, I'm behind. I went. But wait a minute. Well, Sean says he missed your counter offer. So, uh, yeah, 1600. Right. So yeah, that's why I typed it. So so yes, it was sixteen hundred back to you, Sean. So yes, if your video skipped, you missed that. Uh, yes. All right. So we'll wait. Uh, you know, we'll pay attention to the chat to see if uh, Sean on Facebook accepts that offer or not. But we have round eleven. Why do we have a round eleven tonight, Anthony? Oh, because I got this really amazing large art extra, page extra extra and i just i you know i'd finished and i said hey i'd love to feature this on the uh uh okay sean clancy accepted on the dazzler yay thank you sean thank you sean hey all That's right awesome. so everybody that hey sean i recognize your face on your uh picture so i picked up this Great suspense 60 page of uh, the second appearance of Hawkeye. And I just loved it so much. It just, I just wanted to feature it on the show. And it's got Iron Man and Natasha and Iron Man and Natasha and, and Hawkeye. Iron Man and Hawkeye. And Natasha. Yep. From the second appearance of Hawkeye, a key comic book that features. The Black Widow and her original spy gear. She was a spy. She was Ooh. evil. She was evil, Sharon. Yikes. So, yep. Don Heck and Dick Ayers Large Art from a key comic book, uh, Suspense 60, 1964. And look at her. She's gorgeous. How many years old is that, Bill? I don't know. 60? 60. Yay. Oldest. Sharon's favorite year. All right. Well, there you have it. $15,000 on this Don Heck Dick Ayers Tales of Suspense 60 page. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yay. Incredible. I wanted a chance to sell it to y'all. Mm -hmm. And uh, because Anthony needed a round 11, Mike was allowed to pick a piece. And ironically, he picked an Iron Man piece as well. How about that, folks? I just got this in yesterday. The splash page from 1968 to Iron Man number three, penciled and inked by the great Johnny Craig. Check this out. From the story aptly titled, My Friend, My Foe, The Freak. Beautiful 1968 splash. Iron Man had just finished battling the Demolisher in issue two. 
and he's almost out of energy. He goes, oh, my gosh, I have to fly to Stark Industries to charge up. Oh, my God, home and not a moment too soon. Defeating Drexel Quartz creation took nearly everything I had. I'll need a charge immediately. Beautiful, beautiful. Full splash page from just the third issue where Iron Man gets his own book. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm not sure who owned it before. I know the guy I got it from said he paid over fourteen grand for it, but we did a trade for some Barry Smith art I had, and I was happy to pick this up this week. So beautiful, beautiful Iron Man 3 splash page. That is pretty cool. Man. That's yeah. so funny. I asked, I told Mike, hey, I, I have a 10C and Bill made it 11A. And we both had our vintage Iron Man stuff. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? We did not talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no collusion on this show. No. no not on this. Hey, Anthony, congrats on that deal. That guy offered me the stuff, but we couldn't work it out. And I see you bought that deal. We were trying to work it out for three weeks, but I just didn't want to pay his price. So I backed out of the deal. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to do what no, you No, sometimes you just got to go for it. You that is that uh that's perfect i don't know what to say sometimes you Thank just you, gotta step Thank up you. to the plate was that perfect well, for me it was close it was definitely close so hey we know nobody's gonna leave because we got the uh, recap coming up here but if you bought anything from anthony his email address is on the screen anthony at anthony snyder.com all right and his website oh, so i'll be in the chat right if you want to make any offers that is uh that is true so here let's uh we need to get everybody psyched up for this No, Jason, you are shackled to your desk. You are not allowed to go anywhere. You have to hang out. Uh, yeah, and really, recap. you want to get your name on the wheel at the Snyder residence, you've got to pick up another piece of art. I think, what do we have? We have five. Wait, we have six names on the wheel, but Jordan's on there twice, right? Jordan? Six, six Jordan names Fox on the wheel. Is on there two Jordan's times. on there twice. Yes, that's correct. Jordan Fox got two things? Yes. Yes, he did. You don't remember? Jordan. Got the X Force page and the uh, La Roca. Oh, okay. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Thank One, you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what is this? Yeah, we got Rich Donnelly. Offer. Rich Donnelly threw an offer to you at nine fifty. On the Bacello and two spaces on the wheel. <gasps> oh, let me see. Maybe I can do that and be Sharon has to okay that with the she's the, and that was your five the five A that was the one with the uh, five X babes uh, from twenty twenty four yeah that one right there you were at twelve hundred dollars on that one twelve yeah uh, let's do an even thousand rich package I deal think so. I think package that. deal. Uh, package deal. Oh. All right, Rich did pick up that uh, other piece at retail, twelve hundred dollars. That was the five B yeah. countering package. at a thousand to you, Rich. Package deal. That's and deal. three spaces on the wheel. What? You can't do that. Why not? You can't. Do I'm that. negotiating. No. That's, no, it doesn't work like that. All right, Rich has accepted it. Thank you, Rich. Thank Yay, you, Rich. Thank you. You're going back on again. Mike's got no chance. Mike, pay attention to the chat for any offers that might come in. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get. I Anthony. already had an offer. You didn't bring it up. Oh, there it is, right there. I'm sorry, uh, Tina, who I'll be interviewing in a, in a few weeks. Um, oh. She's offered you 150 on the logo. You were 300. Yeah, I'll, uh, Tina, I'll do 200 bucks on it, which I feel is a fair deal. And we know you like that signature, Mike. Mike, get off the show. Look at that signature. Let any other action before we go into the recap. Let's go. Action, action. We want action. Yeah. Sing it, Sharon. Right. So uh, thank you for the offer, Tina. So uh Anthony, you ready to get going? Yeah, sure. I see you organizing things over there. I so. got an ace up my sleeve. You do. We're starting with that one too. Uh, 1A did not sell, so uh, what do, What was that? That was priced at 275 the Mike Collins Gambit. Commission. All right, I'm feeling generous. 11 by 17. I like stuff with cards. He's energizing. It reminded me of the, the original X-Men cartoon. So, you know, he likes throwing cards. Uh, two and a quarter? Okay. 
Mike wants to do 200 on it. No. All right. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Go in once. Go in twice. Ding, ding. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, X-Men 97 version. The Ace of Hearts. That's really fun, too. I like the King of Hearts. It's, we call him the Suicide King. He's got a sword to his head. All right, so 225 on that one, right? Two, yeah. 225 for your 1A. All right, 1B. Oh, I haven't seen two. today's episode. Is today the... I haven't watched any of them yet. Oh, uh, it's really fun. It's it's good. I'm sure it is. I'll wait till it's all done. And then I'll oh, are you doing this? Okay. So we got 2B okay. now, the Josh Kassara. You did not know anything about this guy. He was sitting a mere 50 feet from you at OAX, I'd say. Uh, wasn't everybody 50 feet from me at OAX? No, not really. Not really. But uh, you were at 575 on this one, Anthony. What is your best 575. price? 575. That's your best price? It's the great team Yes, shot. Jeff Moy, the uh, Bocello sold for a uh, I'll do 500 even on this. And uh, and uh, it, with the orca, don't go swimming with the orcas at Sea World. Don't no. do not do it. Don't become a trainer. All right, so five hundred even on that one, correct? Yeah. Okie dokie. So uh, Cab got three A, so three B is your next one. Let's go, Comic Art Boston. All right, so DK. DK, is that right? Three, DK Ruan. We got yes. two, two consecutive pages. I like yeah, these. This guy's got a great style. It's awesome. You know, some some guys you know come on the scene and their style just clicks with fans. And this is one of those guys. Just Ten wanna, seconds. What's your best two price? DK Ruan. I'll do eight hundred. Four hundred a piece. Four a piece on these great ink wash. Ink wash. They're gorgeous. Speaking of washing, wow, I need a shower. A little, little overdue, huh? So $800, Mike, that's what you're going, or Mike, Anthony, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Anthony. I know, I'm ty I'm typing something to Gwen, and I was typing something about Mike. Maybe by the 150th episode, you'll be able to tell the difference. Yeah, you guys look so much alike. <laughs> 800, correct? 800! All right, eight what, zero zero. You know what? What year did Fantastic Four number one came out? Sixty one. Sixty one. That's seven, right. Six, so let's do seven sixty one. Seven sixty one. So this is very ink washy, and this one's very ink washy. Look at that. So when you say ink washy, it makes me feel like it's. Well, it's got uh, a you know, it's got no, it's very clean no, lines it's got, and gorgeous and it's all right, got, we're going seven seven sixty one, seven sixty one on the three B seven sixty one. Okay, so now we got Leonardi and Dan Green, very very strong combination, uh, and uh, the the cable is turning into cable. That's awesome. And then you got a bunch of Machine Mans, and you got Machine Man versus Hulk. What an exciting page. Is it? Yeah. Are you excited about it? I am. Sell it, Sharon. I What's mean, your best price, Anthony? Okay, let's do seven and a quarter. A Q, seven and a Q. Seven, seven and, and a, a Q. It's got Big Hulk versus Machine Man Anthony. There's transformations happening. There's action, action, action. Yay. You look excited about it. I am excited right. about it. I like this page a lot. You like it a lot? I like you a lot. Aww. 7.25 on Anthony Foray. I'd love you. Switching it up. Right. I think the sideburns that do it for you. Yeah. Uh, four B is Packages. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Package deals. Rocking the sideburns. All right. So next. Oh, did it, we said seven in a queue, right? We said seven in a queue, but Michael McIsaac is offering you 700 even. I'll do 700 even. Yay, 700 even. Yay. Congrats, Michael McIsaac. He's remind got his name on the wheel. Remind, remind me to, and remember, guys, I, uh, I want to send you a PayPal invoice tonight. 
tonight. So email me with what you got. Say, hey, I'm Michael McIsaac. My PayPal address is this. Send me a invoice and I will pay it and the stuff will be going out tomorrow. Well, it'll be, it'll be packaged tomorrow and then uh, picked up uh, Friday. Yeah. All right. So Tom Rainey and Keith Williams, Warlock Chronicles, Drax, Gamora. Yeah. Oh, no. She's knocked out. Is she knocked out? Oh, no. We don't like Gamora knocked out. Oh, I don't like that. She's got her fishnets on and she's all knocked out, laying there in her repose. So. That's seven right. to two on this one for a Tom Rainey splash, a hundred percent splash. That is good. What are you doing, Sharon? Writing down Michael McLeod, Mike Isaac, I think. Michael, all right, so Nick seven Isaac. 25 uh, on the uh, Warlock Chronicles splash Nick page. Isaac, now right. five A, five B did sell. We're going all the way over to six A right. right now. This one sold, all right, Thor Hall. Uh -huh. All right, we got Bill of Thor in his chain mail. Chain mail. Look at that. This is and awesome. Bill of Thor and Big Hulk in the back. And where's and me? And Bug Anthony and Anthony. Right there. Right there. You're this guy. Oh, yeah, there I am. And, and. All right, we got an offer, Matthew. Of the Detulio. Well, how about tell me what your best price is on this Okay, this one. Uh, this is Ron Lim from an Infinity thing. It's got Ron Lim. It's Ron Lim art from a title with an Infinity in the title. Oh, $8.50. $8.50. All right, $8.50 on your 6A, Infinity in the title, Ron Lim. So, yes, DK Ruan offer came in from Matt Tatulio on your 3B. You were at 761, and Matt is offering you 750. 750, really? Okay. That's a deal, Matthew, of the Tatulios. Yay! That's the, uh, you know, Southern Napolitan Tatulios. All right. So, that's 3B being sold to Matt Tatulio for $750. Thank you, Matt. All right, Matt. Now, look, it's Silver Surfer and Don Greenwood on this Mike Allred page from 2015. I got an ace up my sleeve. All right. Um, all right. So this is uh, Silver Surfer and Dawn, and they're coming together on the in the soaring cosmos. Oh, look at her. She's got her polka dot dress on. And it's very Sharony, and they come together in their asteroid belts. Oh, and then they. That's right on this one, sir. I like that, Bill. Let's keep it that way, sir. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, geez. Cheese? Cheese and crackers. What kind of cheese? 1750. After the bell, Jeez. 1750. How's that? Jeez. Okay, 1750 on your 7A, Mike Allred. Now we've got the homage, your 7B, uh, Mike Allred, Avengers 672 cover. Look at this cover. Look at that. All right, I'll get this one out quick. 2300. I'm going to be tight on this one. This is, this is a great Marvel cover. I mean, I've gotten more than this on... Uh, uh, other kind of covers. Oh boy! The, oh, I had a bunch of those DC um, Batman 1966 covers, and you know I got up to three thousand on those. So this is a Marvel why, cover. Why is this only twenty five hundred? I don't understand. Uh, you know because I price stuff based on what I take it at. So I don't like try to squeeze, squeeze. But it's a cover. Squeeze, and it's and got it's awesome. Sharon on it. I feel like this should be it's got priced two higher. versions of Sharon. It's got Norway Sharon and Waspy flying around wingy Sharon. Think about it, Sharon. All right, $2,300 on that one. That's my Mike Allred uh, round. round yeah. Package deals of Marvel art. Come on, Bill. You've done selling shows with him. That's, that's I mean, two Marvel. That's not that easy right marvel art 
Yeah. Hey, I love Mike Allred's artwork. Yeah, but as far as Marvel art goes, what? What? What, what is your question? I didn't didn't get. Well, to I it. mean, uh, does he do a lot of Marvel art? In, in... Well, he did the Ecstatics, uh, X Force. He did. Uh, yeah, he's done. He's done a fair amount of Marvel work. Ecstatic uh, was Marvel. Okay. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, so, so next up, we have your 8B, Ghost Rider, title page. All right, Marcus. Uh, well, you owe me $30, so Marcus, you can have that cover and uh, the, the thing you ordered for $30 at $2,230. So $2,200 for everybody else. All right. All right, now, so we got the Brett Blevins. And that is not 90 shoulder pads. That's part of his uniform. Like, and that's the, uh, yeah, nine, 1993. I like the 90s. Yeah. You were so hot then. Oh, my God. All right. So, 1993. Uh, I'll do three even on this one. Three even. Three even. Three even. Three even. Three even. We'll take three even. All right, 3K on your 8B, Brett Blevins, Ghost Rider, title page. Can you let Mike do a round? Nope. I need, a, a, I need break. a break. Sorry. Got to keep it rolling here. Next up, 9A, what do we got? Kieran Dwyer, <laughs> Al Milgram, Captain America. Captain America. When Captain America throws his mighty shield. All those who pose his shield must yield. Perhaps thinking he would un be unspotted amid the citywide chaos. He actually broke into the White House and insulted the president. No! Your mission, Captain, is to take whatever measures necessary What's your best price to in apprehend this man, Ten. Steve Rogers, Nine. your renegade Eight. predecessor. Seven. So, yeah, Steve, Steve Rogers is... Five. Oh, Four. 2,800! Okay. 2,800. That's such a cool page. Yeah, so Steve's in the uh, in the um, in the uh, summer soldier outfit. Oh, okie dokie, twenty eight hundred on that one. So next up, nine B. Ah, uh, the cap page. Now this one, you know, if you have the page right after it, you should have this page. <laughs> and the amount of bricks. I know you yeah. got cut off by counting the bricks. I but. I had to quit. I I gave up on on. Uh, Panel two, uh, panel two was. Uh, He's doing really well. Yeah, I was so. This one I could do three even as well. Even. Oh, we're gonna talk about exit velocity for quarterbacks, left-handed quarterbacks. Oh my god. All right, three K on this one, nine B. We got uh, three more pieces to look at. Anthony. Everybody wants the brick page. It's Captain America and bricks. Yeah, bricks. Great. And Kazra, you know, being a former wide receiver uh, and and slot, it's not about how hard you throw. It's touch that matters. You got to throw a catchable ball. Catchable, catchable. All right. Catchable. 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 These up hands. Football. I had great hands. Catch up. Catching a football. Okay. Sam Keith Aliens. Earth War. Number four, five, five grand. Oh, I'll do 4,500 on it. Oh, nice. Xenomorphs. Uh, what did you say on that? Five, 40, 45. 45. So somebody needs this page because they have the page right after it. I'm going to be. Everybody, yeah. Okay. That's a good page. And from the first, appearance, first of all appearance of Winter Soldier. All right. 500 on the Sam Keith Aliens page. 45. Yes, sir. 34 years old. Uh, all right. What's next? What's next? We got the 10B. Keith Giffen, Wally Wood, All-Star Comics, Power Girl, JSA, 1976. Crash! This is just too hard to come by. I'll, I'll do seven even on it. Uh, it's got Star Spangled Kid, like, uh, you know, in his chair of power. But the most important thing is Power Girl. This might be from her first full story. I don't know. I, I don't remember if uh, 58, 59, and 60 kind of ran together or what. 
but 58 was her first appearance. And then you got uh, Flash, Wildcat, Star Spangled Kid, and then all of them again together. Gorgeous page, hard to come by. Uh, you know, this is one of those things I had to buy. And it's got Sharon on it. Look at that. It's got Sharon on it. You did get an offer on this one for Mark Hager. $5,000. I can't do five, Mark. Come on. You got to come up. Seven thou. Sticking at seven thousand, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the offer, Mark. We appreciate it. Mark. I'll I'll do sixty-eight for you, Mark. Sixty-eight. All right. Sixty eight hundred on your ten B. We only have one more piece to look at. Your round eleven. Round eleven artwork. What round eleven? We don't have round eleven. Yeah. Tonight, tonight you do. No, we didn't. Okay, we can call this 10C if that makes you feel better. 10C? I called it 10C on my list, but okay. Yeah. yeah spent yeah. 60. Oh, look at that. From the second appearance of Hawkeye. Meanwhile, unaware that Natasha is heading for an Iron Curtain slave nation. Oh, my God. And it's actually got... Who's that? Got Quite a deep story going on there. It's got a deep story. That's Pepper. From 1964. That's Pepper. Yep. So you got uh you got and an evil guy in a fedora. Where's my what was the price on this one? 15. Ah. No change, ladies and gentlemen. No change. Sticking with the 15k. I'll I'll do 14. I just want to match uh uh Berkey's uh uh -huh. Iron haunches splash. Just to be safe. Iron haunches. Going down to 14 tonight. Oh, right. Natasha. You know how she's, you know, you know how, Bill, do you know how you know she's evil? No. She's wearing a fur coat. Is that uh, the tell? Yeah. I suppose so. Evil All right. Shot. Mike has no shot. No chance. I've got nine sales for Anthony. Uh, I've got a couple of big sales. We'll see. We have, we have uh, at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I got nine. But uh, we have we have eight on the scoreboard. So uh, I don't know if the score is completely accurate. But Mike's got some work to do if he's going to get close. I, I do want to. Oh, Mike can get close in one sale. He can doom, do it. Doom. That's Alex That's Nino. Folks I, folks, I just picked this up. I was curious if anybody knew what the heck it was from. It's Alex, Alex Nino. It's Alex Nino. Well, I don't know what these are, but I picked I picked these up. And I, these might be Alex Nino. These are huge. I just wonder if anybody ever actually knows what these are from. Title. Huge piece there. And huge piece here. And the last one, of course, I know it says Ed Noonchester on the back. I know it's in a different, but I'm just curious if anybody knows actually what these are from because the guy I got them from had no clue what they were from. Are you taking offers on those, Mike? I don't know. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Bill gets a percentage if anybody makes an offer, and I say okay to it. How so. much for the two DPSs? I like the swamp. Make thing. me an offer. The swampy one, the the first uh, one, and then this one too. How about a thousand dollars a piece? Uh, $1,000 a piece I'll do. Okay. Okay. What, you're buying them, Anthony? I'm buying them. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Well, they weren't offered on the show. I guess you can do whatever you like. <laughs> but I was just curious if everybody knew what title those are, so that was all. All right. How many pieces were there? I didn't four. even see. There were four. No, just for the two DPSs. I, don't I know, I know, I know. Yep. Okay. I'm just making sure. I'll see you later this month, so I can pick them up then. You don't yeah, we'll to... talk. Okay, great. All right. Add them to no, Mike's don't add total. Them to my total. <laughs> no, you don't count against my total. Oh. I said it doesn't count. It doesn't count. I already said it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything. Um, all right, Mike. We got some work to do, my friend. Uh, we're going all the way back to the top. You're 2A. You already put this one at $200. Yeah, this is 200 bucks. There we go. 200 bucks, I'll go on it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful wash. 
Uh, Ray Lago with a knight. Really, really cool. Beautiful, beautiful piece there. It's like so. a chess piece. Right there. Yeah, I know. The, uh, the knight. Uh, yeah, but he's the knight, knight is a horse. Trying to think of a knight to something for, right? Yeah. So 200 bucks gets it. But Marcus should say, that's a 33% discount. <laughs> All right, so $200 on that one. You did get uh, uh, someone named Greener in the uh, chat was offering you $100 on the color Alex Nino piece that you're holding. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll pass on that. I, I had thank a bit you for of, the thank you. Dollar. Yes, thank you, Greener. We do appreciate it. I'll do 500 on the color piece. All right, next up, Mike's 1B, Eric Larson. Yeah, um, I have 500 on it. I'll go 400 bucks. Very cool, Eric Larson, blob. Uh, done on 11 by 8.5 inch artboard. Very, very cool. He's breaking a sweat in that uh, in that run of his. You see that? I know. Look at that. And I like to Tom. Obviously, it helps if Tom gets it. No, 300 to 200 is 33%. So, uh, oh, the last one, yeah. But uh, Bill, I'll tell you what, Bill, I will do three seventy-five tonight only on the blob. Three seventy-five. All righty, three seventy-five on the Eric Larson that blob. Oh, Tina took the uh, Tina took the uh, Lago. Lago. Yes. Uh oh, indeed. I'm creeping up on Anthony, folks. I'm creeping up on Anthony. You know that old saying: a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. There you go. <laughs> well, you just took that single two hundred dollar step, Mike. I'm yes. telling you. Thank you very oh. much, Tina. All right, next up, two A, the Daryl Banks homage. Um, I have six hundred on, and I'll go five hundred. Really, really nice, Daryl Banks, twenty twenty one, beautiful. Uh, homage to Frank Miller's famous scene here. I'm assuming this was a cover, right? I have absolutely no idea. You would think it'd be noted with the, with the way the characters oh, are. Uh, I'd say it's a more of a more of a commission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The recreation of a cover. I think. When yeah. I said that, Bill, you said five hundred, Mike. Bill, tonight only, only. I'll do four fifty. Four fifty. That's. That's uh, I gotta gotta start small. That's twenty five percent, Mike. Uh, I can go from a single step to a walk, getting close to Anthony. Yeah, you can you can put your cane My down. My little buddy. Uh, yes, that is uh, very true. I think that's a great piece. Four fifty tonight, folks. And there was an offer in the chat to Anthony from Max Raskin. Just I got it. Out there. Okay, Anthony's got it. He's uh, all right. Very good. All right. So next up, the Ken Stacy piece. I have six hundred on it. I'll go five hundred. Again, this piece is all art, folks. It's all art. Beautiful piece from 1988, too. So this is old. This is 36 years old. Very colorful, too. But what's your best price, sir? Yeah, 500, I said. No, oh, 500? Got it. Sorry. I'm, I'm no, scribbling off the notes here. Such a perfect style. Such a perfect style. What I say in that, Bill? You said 500, Mike. Bill, tonight only, 450. Another 25% piece. All right. <laughs> to be at 450, Ken Stacy asked for more. Or I'll sell the pair for 850, folks. All right. What do we got next here? We've got a Betty Page Unbound cover. Wow. Published cover. I have 800 on it. I will do 700 tonight. Published cover, too. There's the published image there in the upper right, on the right side there, folks. Beautiful. Betty Page. Ooh, la, la. Published cover. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I decided to put my art in the bags. Wow, these people know their stuff. What? Toast? 700 bucks. The art you bought is by Tim Gula. Never heard of Tim Gula. So what do we got? You're at 700 on a 3A. 
Oh yeah, seven hundred. I'll tell you what. I will go six seventy five on that. Six seventy five. All right, six seventy five. Before the end of the show. show. Now we got some Not after, but baby. during the show. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm trying to catch my little buddy Anthony. I'm going to lower this right now to 700 just to keep going. Oh, Alex Nino. There you go. That's what Anthony thought it was, Alex Nino. If you know the title, let Anthony. Yeah, I was just about ready to renege on that misattribution by me. Uh, if because if I misattributed it, I wasn't going to spend a thousand. Well, sure you are, because you made. I, we honor it. Yeah, we honor our deals. Yeah. Anyway, seven hundred bucks. I'm lowering this. Uh, Marcus, tell me what discount that is. Seven hundred bucks. I'd say it's uh, twenty-two and a half percent. And uh, medley. Beautiful piece with Blue Beetle, Guy Gardner, Orion, Mister Miracle, Fire, all of them. Holy moly. 700 bucks. All right. 700 on your 3B, Mr. Berkey. And uh, what do we got next? Lee Bermejo, Fathom. Boy, it seems like hours uh, since we saw this artwork. My goodness. It's back uh, again. Um, yeah, I'll do 1000 bucks for tonight. 1000 yeah. bucks. Haunches. Yep. Lee is not doing traditional work anymore unless he does something at a show. I took all him a 1200 trade stuff. just trying to get some deals tonight. Mm -hmm. Is that true? He's not doing ink on board, pencils on board. Not for not for his published work anymore. Oh my! He got God. offered five hundred for the uh, color piece. So, okay. That Joker, that Joker, thousand bucks on there. That Joker story was some of the best art I've ever handled. All right, we're, we're at a thousand on this Bermejo, the four A. I will do nine seventy five tonight only. Nine seventy five. Nine seventy five. All right. All right. Uh, good night, Mr. Brucci. Uh, next up, 4B. What do we got? The Tom Durenic. Man, I love this. Gosh. Look at that. Superman battle splash. doesn't get much better than that. Look at the published image there on the bottom right. Wow. Lowest I will go on this tonight. I was going to say 1100 I'll go 1000 and that's it. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Thousand bucks, man. Look at the detail on this thing. That is amazing. That's pretty Full nice. Flash sign at the bottom from 2008. Three years old. Thousand bucks. All right. 4B at $1,000. Wow. Thought that would go. Then we got 5A. That was the Hawkman 43 cover. Hawkman cover, I'll do 1200 And signed with the Golden Eagle from 2005, Hawkman 43. From the story titled, I Fly in the Face of Danger with the Golden Eagle. Ripping up a poster of the Golden Eagle. Eagle Sham and Graw Badger. Yes, indeed. All righty. So twelve seventy-five tonight only eleven seventy-five. Help me inch, help me inch closer to defeating my little buddy. Help me inch closer to my buddy. <laughs> you gotta, well, you gotta, you, you need a lot of inches, my friend. Yeah, we got a step. Got a couple inches here and there, a couple of sales here and there. Like bricks, inch, inch closer, inch closer. John Ramita, uh, fifteen hundred. I'll do thirteen hundred. Again, beautiful pencils. Again, I, I saw this book. I've, I've seen the published image to this somewhere, but I can't remember where. But beautiful. John Romita and sign from either the late 70s or early 80s. Very, very cool. Hulk uh, Learn to Read book. Very, very cool. By the great one. 1300 All righty. Yeah, that looks actually, like a young... Hmm? Oh, actually, tonight only we'll do 1250 1250 to close to my little buddy. All right, $1,250 on Mike's 5B. Now, what do we got? Oh, the Metal Men page is next. The Sikowski oh, Metal Men yeah, 36. This is, page. this is the one I got my big Basema deal in. This one came as part of it. All those crazy uh, Ninos were part of that deal, too. But uh, this has been a collection for 30 years. Beautiful piece. I love it. 60, 1968 Metal Men. Uh, tonight, uh, $1,450, I'll do. I love this. I have a lot of Silver Age 
uh, DC guys that like the non like Superman, Batman stuff. So I, th- I, I think this will go on the site. I got the whole team there. And they smash into a cop car. Lead smashes into the cop car. I love these pages. They have three horizontal panels. They're all big spreads. What I say on that, Bill? You said fourteen fifty, Mike. I will do fourteen hundred tonight only. Fourteen hundred. Okie dokie. Uh, what do we got next? We got that Ordway and uh, Rubenstein. Yeah, uh, I'll do eighteen hundred on this. And on the nineteen eighties, and, and there's the published published pinup right there with with Billy on the bottom right. Anthony's nickname, of course, Ant Man. Ant Man, that's right. My friends do call me ants or ant. Yes. Jerry Ordway, inked by the great Joe Rubenstein and Rubenstein. Done on 11 by 17 Marvel Art Board. All right. Tonight only, I'll do 1750. We'll go 1750. Okie dokie. 1750 on 6B. We got 7A next. That was the uh, nine page. Now, this is a complete nine page story, folks. You got to check these out. I mean, Listen, I'm going to do the unthinkable here. Uh, instead of 2000 I'm going to go 1500 on the whole story. Just because the guy was so nice, and I bought a bunch of stuff from him. And, and he had Doctor Who art also, but I chose not to buy it. I just wanted the main stuff. But, I mean, nine pages with two, two splash pages. I mean, this is some great stuff. With Catwoman, Batman, and Robin all battling the Joker. Are you kidding me? Look at all these great battle pages. And that's and Bill is showing that's the book book it was in, but it was published in four different countries. And he said the art he the stories are the only non-Batman team ups ever published in Europe ever. The only solo Batman stories are what he what what uh, he drew. So okay, so fifteen hundred fifteen hundred bucks for the whole story. Uh, Russ Leach pencils and inks, and he signed every one of them on the back for me. I said, please sign them all for me. So, and he signed every every page for me. Never offered to the public. These has been in the artist hands ever. This is the first time ever offered to the public. You get the nine page complete story, two full splashes, two half splashes. Nine page story, fifteen hundred bucks. All right, now we got uh, Aunt May sobbing over. Uh, wow! Peter. Look at that, John Chen from two thousand. It's either 2007 or 2006. I have both written in my description. But anyway, beautiful splash. Uh, t- t- uh, we'll go 2000. Look at the detail. I like they even have the pencils on the back, like where they started. You have a lot of that. It's Sean's, Sean's layout on the back. He always does yeah. that like that. And it's got beautiful, crying beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Aaron on it. Older Sharon. That's older Sharon. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, two great. I'll go 1950 tonight only. 1950. All righty. 1950 on your 8A. I think we've got six more. John Penny by Scott Hanna from 2000. Oh, it is 2006. So I said 2007. So it is 2006. 18 years old, folks. That is a doozy. Wow. Uh, folks, uh, the Mark Schultz. I will lower this to 2800. As we get to the later pieces, I get a better chance of catching my aunt, little Antony, my little buddy Antony. Don't call me your little buddy. Ant Man, my little Ant Man. So twenty eight hundred bucks. And this again, this is published in the fourth volume of Mark's hardcover art book titled Thunderbird. Twenty eight hundred. <laughs> And his beautiful signature at the bottom. That's awesome. What I say on that, Bill? Twenty eight hundred, Mike. Tonight only. I can't believe it. Twenty seven fifty tonight only. Crazy, Mike. Twenty seven fifty on his eight. That is a doozy, man. Wow. Now remember, we do, me and Anthony do time payments as good or better than just about anybody in the hobby, too, folks. Especially on bigger pieces, as long as we discuss it. But we can give you time to pay stuff off. Uh, George Perez Splash, folks. I will lower this to 3200. Matter of fact, I'll do 3100 just to keep things going. The only Power Man book 
George ever drew in 1975, the only power man. But and by Al McWilliams, who was a famous strip artist. Didn't he do uh, the the something the something Earth book? Al McWilliams, Greater Earth Nothing or something. There. But uh, yeah, he he never did comics. I can't believe it. It's inked, it's inked by Al McWilliams, who's a famous strip artist. A bill tonight only. Tonight only, because everybody's staying late with us. Three thousand dollars. You get it tonight. All right, three the even. Great George Perez, Perez folks. This is forty-nine years old. George Perez. Wow, three grand. Woo! Wow, that's crazy Eddie stuff there. Yeah, Twinners. Ooh. I knew it was some. I'm going like something else. I can't remember Twinners, right, Adrian? Uh, beautiful. Uh, with Bruce Banner changing the Hulk and uh, and uh, Silver Surfer. Uh, I'll do forty-two fifty uh, on this one. Sal Silver Surfer is like unheard of, folks. What is the Batman behind you next to the Alex Ross? Oh, that's Duranko. That's a thirty grand, really nice piece, and it's published. Uh, what a forty-two fifty! I'll tell you what, folks. I will do forty-one hundred tonight only. Four. Matter of fact, Bill, how much am I behind Anthony? Six thousand eighty-five. Six thousand. I'll do four thousand. Okay, I'll go four thousand tonight only on the on the surfer. Sal Basema pencils and inks from nineteen eighty. This is forty-four years old. All righty, four thousand even on Mike's nine B. We got three more to look at. Ten A is up next. The Mole Man. Uh, the Mole Man. Beautiful piece. Again, tonight only uh, from this is from the first volume. John Bird Demo, I'll do 4,500. I sold a lot of these. Marvel's first super villain. Are you kidding me? Marvel's first super villain. Yeah, he's a very imposing John figure. John Byrne, yeah, John Byrne, inked by Joe Rubenstein, 1983. This is 41 years old. Holy moly. Mm hmm So wow. 4,500? 4, 4, uh, 4,500. All righty. Uh, Matter of fact, I'll do 4,400. What the heck? I'll give him another 100 bucks off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, 10B. This is from Machine Man 1, not 4. Machine Man 1. This is from Machine Man 1. That is correct. Whoops. Again, uh, Herb Treppy breakdowns, uh, Barry Smith finished pencils, and Barry Smith inks. Machine Man number 1. Look at that great line work. Uh, I'll do 40. I'll do 4,600 on it. 4,600. Try mounted. Don't hurt the jack squat. If you're framing it, you'll never know. The pressure taken off if you want, but I see no reason to. Keeps it from getting dinged. All right, so you are at forty six hundred dollars on this one. Uh, I will do forty five hundred. Yeah. Okie dokie, forty five hundred on ten B, forty four hundred on ten A, and uh, we've got one more piece to look at. You're round eleven. Yeah. And I will knock off one grand on it, and I will do 13 on this one. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Iron Man 3 splash. Wow. It was a pencil and inked by the great Johnny Craig from just the third issue in 1968. Holy moly. Yeah, it's a nice one, man. And everything is all drawn at the top. The Invincible Iron Man is step. My friend, my foe, the freak, of course, that's all handy. Everything. Wow. Everything, all word balloons, everything is all handy. 1968. All right. So $13,000 on Mike's yep. round that's 11. Any last offers? That's it, folks. Uh, Max Raskins offering you 10 k for the Iron Man splash. What did I say? Thirteen? 
You said 13. Uh, I'll go to 12 for you, Max, and I'll give you time to pay it off. Like I said, the guy I bought it from claims he paid four, over 14 cash for it, so that's what it was in our deal when I did a did a big trade deal with it. All right. Well, thank you for the uh, for the offer, Max. 12k back to you. I'll be 12 on that one. For Anthony you. did accept the offer from uh, from Mark Hager on the 10b at 62.50. So that would yeah, that's it. a good deal. That's a good deal. Yep. Yay, Mark! It Yay. puts uh, Anthony somewhere. What is it? Uh, Fourteen thousand. Uh, I don't know. Three thirty-five, something like that. And the prayers are priceless. Oh shoot! I should say uh, twelve thousand three hundred and forty. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, the twelve wouldn't get you there, would it? But uh, twelve thousand three forty. Thank you for the offer, though, Max. We we appreciate it. Uh, all right, so for you, Max. So unless we get a get a, a miracle here, Anthony has indeed won the title tonight. I so. am the king. Uh, uh, oh, how's it for you? Let me know. Uh, Ma was it Max? It was Max. Anthony defeated me. I'm not dynamic anymore. Uh -huh. Superman is too powerful. Super Anthony is just too powerful. Anthony is just too superior. He is super, man. Uh. Yeah. From the only episode that Anthony did not have a line. Right? Oh, that was his. Oh, no. And you should win an Oscar for that. Mute. Yeah, you know, oh, Oscar, Superman. Uh, handicapped people always win Oscars for stuff. Oh, man. Superman. Well, hey, if you claimed any artwork That's tonight, I think we had a, had a new claimer in here, uh, Jordan Fox. Maybe that was the first time. I don't know. But either way, email addresses for both these gentlemen are on the screen. Mike Berkey at AOL.com and Anthony at AnthonySnyder.com. Please email them tonight. Do not wait until tomorrow. Include your mailing address when you email them, and uh, they will get back to you right away. Anthony loves to send invoices out before he goes to bed. It's like counting sheep for that guy. Oh, how he, go how, how he gets it. that pleasant dreams. And every I night. love it when I have 10 invoices, nine or 10 invoices to send, baby. You know what? I did so yeah. well tonight. I'm going to put one of those silver pieces in with every order. Every claim gets a piece of art. Yay! So we don't even have to spin the wheel tonight because oh, everyone's wow. a winner. Everyone's a winner. Yay. What's ADA? The American Disabilities Act. Oh, know. my God. How did you get that? I used to own a miniature golf course. So, uh, yeah, there's a few. Uh, uh, you get some short there. buses coming in for the, for the, for the. Well, uh, last Anthony. chance, Max. Sean Clancy would have won. <laughs> would have won, but everyone else. Everybody won. You know what? Sean Clancy, that, that's the true. first claimer. He started off tonight's festivities, so he'll get the splash, and everybody else will get a. Uh, Danny has pointed out that was tonight. Tina's first claim tonight, too. So thank you, uh, Tina. We appreciate oh, that. Tina, the logo from me? Yeah, the, one, the logo from you. The logo. Excellent. Congratulations, Tina. You're going to love it. Yes. Yay. All right, everybody. Bye. Thanks for hanging with us as always. So we have our big 150th episode next, next week. Wednesday. Make sure you're here. Yes, for the famous Come on, the helmet's right Bill. behind you, Bill. The helmet's right behind. Try it on. Uh, the cap mask is right over there. Yeah, right there. Right Try there. it on. Right there. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he's going to do it. Just for you, Anthony. Since you, you did so well tonight. There it is. All right. I hope Alberto's oh, happy. Not the skinny one. Oh, I'm not putting the skinny one on. Are you no, crazy? the skinny one. I can't even get this thing straight. There it goes. You got to put the other one on, Bill. No that way. Is squat. This is one Jeff Moy brought, bought no, for me. That one blows. Like. No offense, but that one sucks. Mm hmm. All right. Well, listen, everybody. It's you. It's not. Have a wonderful it's evening. Way too big on you. Yeah. That's perfect. All right. all right. Thank you for all the claims tonight. We, we got some great memes for next week, folks. All new memes for next week for 150. Sure. Yeah. Dance us out with Package Man. Oh, boy. I know uh, Jane's got the Package Man shirt, too. Hey, look at that. I got I got $5 from Alberto. Man. 
Caps biggest fan. Yay. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow on the Calf Update. Don't forget. Yay. Issue, uh, we'll see issue everybody next Wednesday for the big show.